Here we go, folks. We are going to go in this tunnel for the first time ever and see what happens here. So are we going to spit out on the other side? This is actually kind of scary. All right, folks. We have... <laughs> We have a ton of boosters on here. I don't even know what we've created. Uh, this is ridiculous. Now, the uphills are going to be a little bit of a challenge because they're going to be slower. But once we start going downhill and oh, 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 what the heck is this place? Hello, YouTube. Komodo Gaming here bringing you guys another episode of Tracks. And yes, folks, we are back once again. And today... I've got some plans. What we're going to be doing here today, now last episode we built on to the space town which is really up there and you can't see it because it's the way the map works. It goes outside of the sky dome. So we're not going to be building up there today but I was thinking, man if you get stuck on the loop to get to the space town, you are going to be traveling for probably 10 to 15 minutes in order to get back down to the town. So. We're going to be doing two things here. Uh, last episode, I never got to play with the new tunnels. Uh, we're going to create a bypass that's going to bypass this loop, and it's going to go out to a new racetrack. Uh, maybe like a race slash stunt course. Uh, not like the stunt course over here, but more like a just speed track. And it's going to bypass the mountain village and go back around to town. So, in theory, it's going to be a lot faster to get around opposed to trying to go all the way up to the space town. Which, by the way, if you missed that episode, it's in the top right corner if you want to check that out. And then come back and check out this episode. But anyways, folks, if you're enjoying Tracks on the channel and want to see more of it, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you have any suggestions for future track episodes, comment below. Alright, so this is the road into the little, we'll call it the cave town over here. Now this is the road that leads all the way up to the, uh, the space map. And oh, we just went inside the mountain. That was kind of frightening. Uh, but what we're going to do, I think, uh, let's see. Actually, how did that get disconnected? It's kind of scary. Uh, we're going to go all the way. I need to bypass the mountain. So, hmm, maybe about right, right here. Uh, maybe a little bit further. Let's go with the turn. Let's go here. All right, so this is going to be the bypass. I'll get some signage up here in a second. And um, we're going to, oh, oh, getting a little ambitious here. Sometimes I get into the clicky mode and I click tracks everywhere. All right, so we're going to build to about right here. And we are going to build onto this mountain because I want to utilize the tunnel. Now, the tunnel is something I pulled it out last episode and we never actually got to play with it. So the tunnel is down here, uh, which can we color the tunnel? I don't know if we have the option to do that or not. Maybe it's just one standard color. So yeah, the tunnel, I believe, already has track laid out in it. I want to say it does. Yeah, it does. Okay, so we connect into here. And in theory, you can bunch these tunnels up. Do they need to be like that? How does this work? There's got to be another option just to, instead of having that go that way. Does this actually go down or something? I'm a bit confused about how this tunnel works. All right, so I figured the tunnel out. I was somewhat working it the right way. I figured you were going to actually have to stack the tunnels up, but it's actually really cool how this works. So, say we go here, and then we will create a an exit tunnel. You do not have to build the track in between. So, say the bypass, say we're going to go into a mountain here. Uh, we'll have the exit, let's say about right here. So, now I should be able to drag this over. That's what this green line is. You select it, and then you drag it over to the next tunnel here. So, oh, that didn't actually select, huh? I'm trying to figure out how to get rid of this one line. I, I made a mistake by dragging this uh, the way I did. Let's see, does it show? Actually, I think it's showing. All right, let's test this out. Uh, we're going to set a starting point up. Uh, let's put it over here. I think it's up in the mountain village. They need to have it to where you can have, like, multiple starting points and checkpoints. Uh, that would be really nice. And where are we? Oh, yeah, we are up in the space town. Oh, all right, so let's go ahead and reset here. All right, so here we go, folks. We are going to go in this tunnel for the first time ever and see what happens here. So are we going to spit out on the other side? This is actually kind of scary. All right. Oh. <gasps> hey, it worked. That's kind of cool. You know, the only thing I'm a little disappointed about is I would have liked to have seen the whole tunnel. Like, say if you were to be able to create one actual tunnel line, 
I thought it would be kind of neat to, while you're going through the tunnel, you would see the tunnel walls and you'd actually have to travel all the way. But, that's a pretty cool little uh, solution. It's like a little teleporting thing. I guess we could have probably put one of these up in the space town and just teleport it back down. But, I still like the little, uh, the corkscrew there. So, anyways, uh, what I'm gonna do here, we will create like a little mountain area over in that, uh, section here. But, we're gonna go ahead and start to, uh, build once again. And then we'll, uh, kind of move out and we'll create a little speed track here somewheres. Alright, so I was thinking, we're gonna build a speed track, but what also we're gonna do here is the whole fact of, I thought of something really cool with the tunnel. So when we exit that tunnel, we're gonna come up kind of in between these uh, these grass blocks, which these are new by the way, uh, and we're gonna come up here, and we'll be in a whole new section, and I'm gonna build the walls up really tall, so I'm gonna make it feel like once you travel through the tunnel, you're almost like in a whole new town, a whole new map. And I'm gonna build that all the way over here. I'll have another tunnel that will spit you back out in the old snowy map. So it's gonna make it look like you're in like a, eh, maybe not quite as cold area because everything in tracks, it looks cold. It's just snowing, it's all the white areas and yeah, it's just uh, always feels a little bit more Christmas-y if that's even a word. Uh, so we're gonna go into something that we'll have to, you know, maybe we'll call it something like Somerville or something. Uh, if you guys uh, know a name of the new section, uh, comment below and let me know what you guys want to call it. Alright, so this is our new area here. You can see the river that runs through. I actually think this came out kind of nice. And you're going to see it really from the perspective of being down here on the train. So, uh, what we're going to have. We're going to have a small little stop here with uh, maybe a couple houses, a couple businesses. And then we'll have the option to go straight. I'll put a tunnel there to bypass... Uh, the space town and spit you back out on the opposite loop and then I think we're gonna build a speed course on this side of the river so let's go ahead and get over to our tracks here uh, we'll say forward here this is where the town's gonna be we'll uh, create I think I need to alt this actually I think we do it like I'm trying to remember how to do that correctly there's a way to do this and not have a whole bunch of extra track let me go ahead and select another item here and we'll build off here, and then we're going to create a bridge, which this is going to look cool. That's going to go all... Oh, well, let's go one more here. Go right here. Now, that bridge is a little uneven, is it not? Hold on. My OCD is kicking in. Let's go there, 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 and there. There we go. So that's going to be the bridge that leads out to the racetrack. All right, so we've got our town here so how do we want to do this let's go ahead and grab this piece uh set it here let's go straight this is just going to be a straight shot through the town i think and then we'll have a tunnel right let's see here oh you can stick that right there can't you oh that looks cool uh can we well that oh that won't work there here no here all right so we'll have this here and let's go all the way. This is the bypass. Uh, there's the space town. There's the exit to the space town. Now, you could uh, go through the mountain village and do this very easy, but this is still the way I have this set up. It's a bit awkward. So I think we're going to exit maybe right. I'll make sure this lines up with the track over here. Right here. Does that look correct? All right. So what I need to do, I'm going to go ahead and pull the. Uh, the little tunnel piece or the little tunnel marker over that way it should exit and we'll test it out all right we're gonna see how far this can truly stretch and teleport us so there all right so we've selected that let's go ahead and get another track piece out here there we go hook that there and then we're gonna go straight straight and straight there all right so it is time to test that uh, we're gonna test starting back at the tunnel make sure everything works so let's go train all right so we're coming out of the snowy area i'm probably gonna stop the uh, snow effect so we're gonna drive through here uh, i'm kind of excited i hope this works i'm really worried about that other tunnel shoot through here and here we are at the other part of the land got a nice grassy area here this is gonna look really good once we actually get the uh the town set up and we'll have like a little speed track over there. I'm thinking almost something like an oval with some jumps and just a ton of boosters. So we'll shoot through here. Now question is, does this tunnel work? Uh, moment of truth. Here we go. Oh, that actually worked. And here we go. We're going back to the main town, Komodoville. 
That is awesome. I really, really like that piece. That's a game changer, actually, because you can, uh, you don't have to build tracks in between everything now. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and build a small little town here. We'll jump back to you guys once I finish that, and then we'll go straight in and build the speed track. Alright, here we go. We have a little river town. So, uh, it would be nice to actually see some docks in the game. That would be really cool, because I would have stuck some up and down the river. But yeah, the river runs through. You've got a little town, like, commercial district right here. Uh, you've got a normal neighborhood over in this area. And then you have some, uh, kind of waterfront houses. So, say they can kind of go just off the back side of their house and actually fish in the river. So, another thing I thought was really cool is when you're down over here, you can see the mountaintop village, and then you can see uh, where the space town is. That is so awesome. You can almost even see way back there. That would be the, the first, uh, maybe a couple episodes, the real stunt loop over there. And we have built a lot on this map. This is actually quite impressive so far. All right, so we've got a nice little town here. You got some windmills all up through here. This will bypass and spit you back out over on that side of the map. I think it is time to go ahead and build a little bit of a speed loop. Something to test these trains out. So we're going to start here. Now there needs to be an exit for the speed loop. So this will be the entrance. Let's go ahead and put that down here. And then I think, let's go, let's say this is the speed loop here. So I need a backtrack, uh, actually here. Okay, let me go ahead and grab this. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna backtrack here. So this will be the bypass for the speed loop. Say for some reason you end up on this side of the track, this is gonna go all the way up the shore. And this will also be where the, uh, the exit of the speed loop connects. So we'll go all the way down here. Uh, let's see, what's a good place to cross back? Probably here, I'm assuming. So let's try to match up these bridges. Uh, do we incline there or is it further? I think it's there. So we'll go all the way across. There we go. And we'll come back down and boom, we hook back in and that'll lead you back to the normal loop. So now for the exit of the speed loop, I think you have the option right in this area. You'll hop back over the bridge and you'll be back on the normal loop. All right, so now for the speed loop. Now what we're gonna do, this is gonna be a almost like an oval, but it's gonna go up in layers as it picks up speed. So this is kind of like a little speed testing area. Now they do have like a, I think almost like a speedometer type instrument that you can put beside the track. So we're gonna look at that here in a second. But anyways, uh, we'll put the boosters last. Uh, we're gonna go down. We'll add some jumps to this too. I just want something really extremely fast. Uh, I want to top speed this, so we'll turn here. We'll go like this. This is actually going to look, I guess, kind of like Indianapolis or something, the shape of it. So we'll come down, and then I need to intersect uh, right here. All right, so that would be even. So now we're going to turn, we're going to climb a layer. Actually, can I stack this? Actually, we should probably do it like this. We'll go up a layer. And is that too close? Maybe we need to go up two layers. Let's go up and up and then boom. So we're now stacked on top of the other track. So we'll go there, there, there. I'll create some jumps in this after I build the whole uh, oval circle. Uh, it just makes it so much easier to create jumps in here. Uh, I think I'll leave some of the jumps really for the top side of it. Okay, so I've got the outer ring figured out. Now what I wanna do, I'm gonna somehow come into the inner circle of the track, and that's gonna be our downhill ring. So it's gonna basically be a copy. I think I know how I wanna do this. So probably right here, we'll go down to. So we're gonna mirror this. Uh, this top track is, yeah, it's gonna be right beside the other one. Oh, nope, don't wanna cross over. Uh, I have a bit of a question as to how I'm going to get this out. I think I'll use one of these uh, side corners. I should be able to shoot out of this track. Now, I am actually starting to debate on the jumps. Do I want jumps in here? Or maybe we'll have just one big jump to get out of here. I, I kind of just want like a speed circle. I think this is going to be pretty cool. So we're going to go all the way over here. And we're going to... Oh, this is going to be so much tracks. Uh, can we go down from here? Okay, so we need to actually start going lower here and then there. 
So that would be the next layer. This is going to start to look a little confusing. There is so much tracks piled in one area. And I think we, maybe we'll go back up. So this is going to be a crazy set of tracks. The more I think about this, I'm kind of excited for this. Uh, maybe we'll have like an up section in the middle here. So let me go ahead and complete this real quick and then we'll move to the other section. All right, so we are basically down to the ground level. So what we're going to do, we're going to start traveling up again. Uh, let's get to a point. Let's say, let's go here, here, here. Here, 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 and then we'll spit out and we'll do our ups on this side. So we'll have another set of rings here. This is, this is a, this might make me a little bit dizzy once we start going, depending on the kind of speed we're carrying. The corkscrews are normally pretty bad. Uh, maybe this won't be quite as bad. I think it's going to look really neat from the inside though, uh, just with the, how everything's shaped. All right, next layer is done. Uh, now we need a down layer, so we'll go down, down, and then we'll start to cruise here. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to put boosters on all of this. This is going to take a lot of time, so we'll uh, see what we can put booster-wise here. Uh, hopefully I can put quite a few, but as far as covering each piece of track with booster, the more I look at this, the more I figure that's going to take... A lot of time. A whole lot of time. Maybe hours. I'm not really sure. Uh, so yeah, we're going to do this loop. And then we should have one more little bitty up loop. And then that should shoot us out uh, to the normal track. Okay, we got to make a turn right here. And that's it. We can't do any more loops because we'll start running into the other track. So... We're going to do one last climb. I kind of wish this was actually on the other side. Uh, ooh. Ooh, this is... I don't even know if we can make it out of this. Hold on. This, uh, this might take a little bit of work here, folks. Thought this was going to be a little bit cleaner. Oh, that took everything to get out of that. You know, it's a little disappointing. Actually, you know, we're going to go on the back side. That way we can hide this a bit. I was hoping to exit out on the other side, but just the way it worked out, we actually exited over here. So we'll go this way. Uh, boom, boom, boom. We'll turn. Actually, we need to turn right here. And we are going to do a drop. So we'll put it right there. Let's go ahead and get our track on this side. Uh, let's see. Got to select something. Oops. What the? Okay. I didn't know that was a piece. Uh, I might need to do some investigating there. So, uh, let's go ahead, go boom, here, and then that should be good right there. So that should land on the other track. There we go. All right. So that is our speed track. What have we created here in tracks, folks? This doesn't even make any bit of sense. Oh boy. What does this look like from like far over here? Or even from the mountain village. What does it look like from up there? Oh, this might be pretty epic. Oh, that's crazy looking. All right, so I'm going to sprinkle some boosters here. I have a plan on how to do this. Uh, not every track piece is going to have a booster because, like I said, that is just way too much track. All right, folks. We have, we have a ton of boosters on here. I don't even know what we've created. Uh, this is ridiculous. Uh, I think I've got most of the boosters in the spots that I need them, so I think we should keep max speed for the most part. I don't know, there might be a couple spots I'll notice uh, once we go their run here that we might need to change. So, let's go ahead, we're gonna get in our train here. Let's go ahead and get over here. Uh, let's get back to our reset point. So let's go over what we've done here today. So we're gonna come in through the tunnel once again. So, uh, it's nice looking out here. I'm gonna shoot through, and we're gonna take the town loop first. So we'll come up through here. And, oh, this is glorious. Glorious looking. So we just go straight. We'll go through blank town, because you guys are gonna name this town. Ah, this is so nice. Oh, yeah, I forgot fireworks. Fireworks. Always have to do that at the opening of the towns. Hit the brakes. There we go. Nice. All right, so we drive out of this little uh, wooden gate area here. You get your windmills, and then you'll drive through, and we'll shoot back through, and we'll be back at the normal town. All right, so time to take the speed loop. All right, folks, ready to be confused? Uh, we're going to go left here. Now, you can still chicken out if you want to. You can always take the bypass right there. 
But we're not going to do that. We're going to go forward. And here we go. Time for some speed. Now, the uphills are going to be a little bit of a challenge because they're going to be slower. But once we start going downhill and oh, oh, what the heck is this place? Oh, uh, this is going to be so cool once we get on the inner rings. And here we go. Picking up speed. I think we're doing pretty good here with speed. Uh, the top speed in the game is not that much, uh, surprisingly. Uh, we're tapping out on it a little bit. I still think we can add some more boosters here. Uh, this feels good. We're probably going to do one more run after this. Uh, question is, how long is this going to actually take? We're still on the outer ring. Oh, dear. What have I created? This is a monstrosity. This is going to take a long time, too. All right, I'll catch you guys when we're going downhill. We'll check the speeds there. Uh, we might only need to add boosters on the uphill sections. All right, we're at the top. There's the little river town. And here we go, downhill section. So this should keep up a little bit more momentum. You won't have those little losses uh, once you're going well, in the up sections. Now, another spot that's going to be really fast is the last inner loop. Uh, going downhill because there's gonna be a lot more tight turns uh, a lot more boosters on the straightaways This is cool because you're almost like lost in the tracks uh, I'm curious as to how many actual track pieces this creation is and how many boosters we've got so far So yeah, we're picking up decent speed here. I'm definitely seeing a need for some more boosters So before we even finish this loop, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna put a couple more layers of boosters here since I have an idea as to where they need to go, and then we'll do this one last time. Alright, to say we added a few boosters is a bit of an understatement. I'm really surprised this game can handle all what's going on right now. So, we are ready to enter the loop once again with a little bit more speed, and we're going to time this and see how long it takes. I'm curious, uh, do you guys have any idea as to how many minutes this loop is going to take? My guess is, I'm going to say four minutes. So anyways, let's go ahead, jump on the train, and get going. Alright, here we go. I'm going to start the time now, and I'm going to see how long this takes. So, it's going to speed along here. Yes, this is definitely carrying more speed. Nice. Yeah, we got these boosters everywhere. Now, I could have gone to where it's like every piece of track has a booster. We might still build on more boosters, but I really do think this is enough for now. So, we're going to speed along here. I'm going to actually put this into a time lapse. And we're going to see how long this takes. Plus, you, you guys will get to see the complete journey. I just don't think I'm going to be able to talk for the, I think, four to... I want to say six minutes that this is going to take. I'm going to go with four. So, anyways, uh, cue the time lapse. Alright, we're coming around to the finish here. Uphill, uphill. This loop has taken, I think, close to, let me see, six minutes here. Wow. And up oh, here we go. Final jump. And boom! Land here. Go back over the river. And we are heading back to the original town. We're heading back to Komodoville. Boom. Wait, what? Oh, camera just went out. <laughs> okay. Well, we broke something there. I don't know. It didn't like that last tunnel, but... The train, is it over there? Oh yeah, I can see it in the distance. It is heading towards the, I think that was the Burgerville station. I think we called it that for some, some reason. Uh, Yep, here's the, oh, it's going to derail. Oh, there it goes. You know, I should probably change that to like a more of just a corner. But anyways, that pretty much wrapped up that loop. That was amazing. Yeah, so we have some other land tiles or terrain tiles I want to show you guys. 
Uh, we have the stone, the mud, and then of course you got the normal like snow or it calls it plain. Uh, we might be able to do some more stuff with that here very soon. But yeah, I think uh, we got quite a bit done here today. A whole new section, a bypass to the mountain village and the space town way up there. So pretty happy with today's progress. But anyways, folks, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Tracks. If you'd like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. If you have any more suggestions, comment below. And we will see you guys next time. Plus, town name. I don't want it to call it a, no, no more blank town. We need a town name. All right, we'll see you guys next time.